I, Professor Vishal Taylor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I teach you model testing or model relationship of a centrifugal pump. Before going ahead, I tell you what is the difference between model and prototype. Okay, prototype means it is the actual working pump. It is known as the prototype. And if we create a smaller size or a bigger size, then the prototype it is called as the model. So when we changing the size of this pump, then first we create its model and we work that. And after successful working of the model, we are create the actual dimension of this pump that is called as the prototypes. Now in this video, we are studying the four point that is a flow coefficient, speed coefficient, third one is the height coefficient, and fourth one is the power coefficient. So on the these four points, the model and prototypes dimensions are find out. So first we move towards the flow coefficient. Now flow coefficient means it's related with the discharge. Now we know that what is the equation of the discharge for a pump, and this discharge is denoted as the Q, and equation of this Q is equal to pi d1 b1 into v f1. D means diameter, D means width, and Vf1 means velocity of the flow. Now, these equations of equality is replaced in a directly proportional. So, when we changing from directly equal to the proportionals, we need to remove the constant factors. So, in this equation of the Q, pi is constant, so we remove the pi. So, remaining equation is Q is directly proportional to diameter into width into velocity of the flow. Now the width b is proportional to the diameter, means width of this impeller is depend on the diameter. So b is replaced by the d. So d into d that is a d square. So here we return the q directly proportional to d square into v f. Now the v f means velocity of the flow. So velocity of the flow is depend on the manometric head. So v f is equal to under root of 2 g h m. Now 2 is constant, g is constant, so Vf is depend on the under root of manometric head. So in this equation, this Vf is replaced by the under root of manometric head and this is the, our equation number 1. Now we also know that the u is equal to pi dn by 60 means that is a tangential velocity is equal to pi into diameter into speed divided by 60. Now in this equation, pi is constant, 6, 60 is constant. So u is proportional to dn. Okay. We also know that u is also depend on the velocity ratio ku, velocity ratio ku into under root of 2g hm. Now in this equation, ku is constant, 2 is constant, and g is constant. So u is also written as u is proportional to under root of hm. So in these equations, we change this u. So u is written as under root of hm in this equation. That is u is proportional to dn. That means the dn is proportional to under root of nanometric head hm. Okay. So I think you understand that thing. It is a just simple. The remove the constant parameters and put the symbol of directly proportional. Now hence we putting this equation number one. Okay. The value of hm is putting in equation number one the under root of hm is proportional to dn so this under root of hm in equation number one is replaced by the dn so what we get the q is proportional to d square n to d into n means this under root of hm is replaced by the dn so what is the equation q is proportional to d cube into n means discharge is proportional to diameter and the speed of the turbine so now we removing this directly proportionality then we need to add one constant factors so what happened the d cube upon n is going on this left side so it is written as like where q is divided by d cube into n is equal to constant and this equation is called as the flow coefficients okay now this equation is applying for the model and prototype means q upon d raised to 3 into n for a model is equal to q divided by d cube into n for a prototype. So if we know that for the prototype we are required this particular discharge this is rpm and this is the speed 
and if we want to make another models by changing the one parameters then after we we are able to find out the another parameters by using these equations so by maintaining these relations we are able to find out this dimension for a model as well as the prototypes next we move towards the specific speed or a speed coefficient before that i request to like the video and also subscribe the channels by pressing the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get continuous notification so second is the speed coefficient speed coefficient means specific speed of a model and prototype must be same and if you don't know the equation of the specific speed how to derive this equation of specific speed then go to the top right screen of your mobile where you see the i symbol from that you can watch the specific speed and derivation because it is a importance for exam point of view now this equation of the specific speed is the specific speed is denoted as the ns and its equation is n under root q divided by hm raised to 3 by 4 and this specific speed is called as the speed coefficient okay when we making this right side term is equal to constant means n under root of q divided by hm raised to 3 by 4 is constant then this is known as the the specific speed sorry it is called as the speed coefficient now when we applying these equations for the model and prototype so it is written like that n under root of q hm raised to 3 by 4 for a model under root of sorry equal to n under root of q divided by hm raised to 3 by 4 that is for a prototype so for a model and prototype specific speed is remains constant so we are able to find out any one parameters by using this equation now next we move towards the hat coefficient means it is related with the equation of manometric head hm now this is find out by using this equation of tangential velocity u so u is equal to pi dn by 60 in this equation pi is constant 60 is constant so u is proportional to dn we also know that u is equal to ku under root of 2g hm ku is constant 2 is constant g is constant so u is proportional to under root of hm hm means nanometric hat so we putting this equation u under root of hm in this equation 1 means these equations so dn is proportional to under root of hm so hm is equal to because in this equation we find out the hat coefficient so we are not uh, taking the under root of hm so we are square on the both the side so we get that hm is directly proportional to d square into n square so this directly proportionality is removed when we make this equation in constant sorry into equal then we need to add the one constant that is the then what how to return the manometric head hm divided by d square into n square this equation is called as the hat coefficient now this equation is applying for the model and prototypes then same equation is written one side model and another side for a prototype so in this equation the manometric head is same for the model as well as the prototype so we are able to find out the diameter either the rpm by using this equation that is known as the head coefficient if you learn then like the video now next is the power coefficient means power is constant for a both the type of pump and the sorry both the type means model and prototype so what is the coefficient of this power so we know that for a pump that is outlet is the hydraulic energy okay so when we find out the hydraulic energy the equation is taken is rho g q h okay now in this equation which parameter is constant rho means density g is gravitational force both are constant so we removing these parameters so this equation is written as p is proportional to q into hm now in earlier case we find out this equation for a q in a flow coefficient and also finding the equation of manometric head hm in a hat coefficient okay so in a flow coefficient we find out that q is proportional to d cube into n and in theory that is hat coefficient we find out that hm is proportional to d square into n square so this value of q and the manometric head hm is putting in these equations okay so this equation is written like that so q is replaced by the d cube into n hm is replaced by the d square into n square then here the d cube into d square so it is a d raised to 5 and n into n square so it is a n raised to 3 power so p is proportional to n raised to 3 and the d raised to 5 now this is converting equality then 
we need to add one constant. So this equation is written like that p divided by n cube into d raised to 5 is equal to constant is called as the power coefficients. Now this power coefficient for the model and prototype is same. Then we are able to find out the n either the d. So this similar equation is applied for the model and for this similar equation is applied for the prototype. For a model and prototype p is constant then we are able to find out what is the speed and what is the diameter for a pump. So thank you for watching this video. If you learn and like the video, subscribe the channels and share with your friends.